Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Today we're gonna talk about five rules of how to be happy in a relationship. Let's start. How to be happy in a relationship? Rule number one is I statement. When you don't like something about the person, when you don't like what he or she is doing or what he is or she is saying, uh, use the I statement. Say, I feel angry, I feel sad, I feel bad versus saying, you make me feel angry. This is your fault. You make me feel bad. No, say, when you do this, I feel sad. When you do this, I feel angry. So this way, you're going to avoid a lot of conflicts in your relationship. When you use an I statement, you uh, can communicate with the person. How to be happy in a relationship? Rule number two is practice listening. Uh, learn how to listen. Learn how to listen to your partner when he or she is saying something. This is also an advice how to minimize or avoid conflicts because when you listen, you're gonna um, eliminate a lot of misunderstandings. And when you listen, you can ask questions and you can find uh, something in common with your partner. You can find the solution in your problems. So rule number two is practice listening. How to be happy in a relationship? Rule number three is to be grateful. Say thank you. Uh, say thank you for small things and for big things. And it can be something like this, like thank you for calling and letting me know that you're coming home late. Thank you for letting me know that you're stuck in traffic. Thank you for making me a cup of coffee. And uh, um, at the beginning, usually people do say thank you a lot at the beginning of the relationship. But within years, they kind of getting used to that your partner, for example, is making you coffee. They getting used to some small things and they forgot to say thank you. So be grateful and appreciate what your partner is doing for you. Rule number four, how to be happy in a relationship is to be a part of your partner's life. I have a separate video uh, which is called how to make him to love you forever. And this is the step number three. Make sure to watch it because I talk in details about this specific step. So how to be part of your partner's life, very important. So let's move on. And step number five is try new things together. Explore new things. Uh, this is a great dating advice for the beginning of a relationship. And this is also a great dating advice for long-term relationship when you are uh, in a relationship for years. Why? Because you are creating something to share. You're creating memories between two of you and you can learn about your partner more. And when you are in a relationship for a while, for several years, you are getting used to your partner. And when you try new things, you are creating a new spark, new interest. When you are trying new things, you are learning something new and exciting about your partner. And your partner is learning something new and exciting about you. And you're creating more and more memories, more and more connections between two of you. And it will create new spark in your relationship, new passion in your relationship. And if you're in a relationship for a while, I also recommend you to watch another video is how to make your relationship last forever. How to keep this spark, this passion, this loving, caring feelings between two of you. I will leave the link below this video. Click thumbs up if you like this video, share it with your friends on your Facebook, Twitter, send it to your friends by email, uh, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to receive notification of new videos that I post every week. And thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.